Welcome to this life of ours. Today we went to the Old Salt restaurant located at 490 Lafayette Road in the center of Hampton, New Hampshire for the Sunday brunch. The brunch goes from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and reservations are required unless you want to sit in the bar area, which is first come, first serve. And please consider subscribing by clicking the button below as that does help our channel. The Old Salt Restaurant at LeMay's Inn is a family-owned restaurant and inn located in the beautiful seaside town of Hampton, New Hampshire. It features fresh local seafood as well as an extensive steak, sandwich, and appetizer menu. The entrance to the restaurant is decorated with many historical photos and articles about the restaurant as well as many famous people who have visited the Old Salt. And as you enter, turn left where you will be greeted by the hostess and a field stove fireplace that is lit in the colder months. We sat in the bar area where there are bar stools, tables, and high tops. The bar is heavily decorated for St. Patrick's Day. There are many TVs on the walls. The seating in this area is pretty close together, so that if that bothers you, you probably should make a reservation for the main restaurant. It includes breakfast and lunch items. There are rolls, muffins, croissants, honeydew melon, cantaloupe, watermelon, strawberries, yogurt, tossed salad and dressings, pasta salad, potato salad, scrambled eggs, home fries, bacon, sausage, French toast, Blueberry pancakes,
Eggs Benedict. Mixed vegetables and rice. Mashed potatoes. Stuffing. Meatloaf Parmesan. Broccoli mac and cheese and beef stroganoff potato boats. Chicken cordon bleu pasta. And haddock with lobster sauce. Here's the roast beef carving station. The omelet station where they will make you an omelet of your choice. Also waffles with strawberries and whipped cream. Over to the turkey carving station. They also have soup which was roasted corn chowder today. Lots of desserts including brownies, carrot cake, triple chocolate cake, cake pops, apple crisp, whipped cream, and a chocolate fountain with marshmallows, strawberries, and pineapple. Also a table with jello, pudding, and many gluten-free options. We had Diet Coke and iced tea, which is served in a mason jar glass. We started off with breakfast items. Plate number one was a muffin, hash, bacon, scrambled eggs, and home fries, along with a blueberry pastry, scrambled eggs, sausage, bacon, eggs benedict, and home fries. Next was blueberry pancake, French toast, bacon, and sausage, then some lunch items, a roasted corn chowder, stuffing, meatloaf parmesan, mashed potatoes, chicken cordon bleu, turkey, and haddock with lobster sauce. Strawberry dipped in chocolate, chocolate almond square, triple chocolate cake, apple crisp with whipped cream, and gluten-free chocolate chip cookie. My wife's plate had an apple crisp with whipped cream, carrot cake, watermelon, honeydew, melon, and cantaloupe, and triple chocolate cake and cherries. The brunch buffet is $26.99 per person, a must-do if you're in the area. Remember, reservations are highly recommended for the Sunday brunch. So then we peeked into the lobby of the LeMay's Inn. First came the check-in desk, waiting area, There was a doily signed by Eleanor Roosevelt hanging on the wall. An older payphone, who sees those anymore? And a piano. Check it out if you're in the area. Please like, share with your friends and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.